This is Anastella at Gorilla. And you're watching Anastella Rocks with Baz from Massive Wagons. Nice to see you again, Baz. I didn't mess that up, did I? You didn't. You did I'm really. Right. You did really well. That's only the 300th take. Yeah, they don't yes. know that, though, do they? <laughs> they don't. Well, they no. do now. They do now. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Now, let me get my notes. Okay. Now, the last time I saw you, well, the last time I spoke to you, because I've seen you lots of times, mm. um, we spoke at SOS, SOS Fest, yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah. it was last year, and I remember at the time we were discussing the mural that had been painted ah, on the side the of the pub. Yeah. yeah, and then all of a sudden, was it the council said it wasn't allowed yeah, on because it was were, advertising, yeah, and there was a big campaign it. That's a, yeah. to keep it. So I want, I want to know what happened to it, because I, I don't think I followed what well, actually what it's, the result it's, was. It's still there, yeah. They had to, uh, they had to apply, <laughs> apply to the council to keep it in there. Give them some money, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, it's still there. Yeah, so yeah. it's still there. Nobody's vandalised it or anything, or scrubbed any words out, or Brilliant. So drawn you won. anything inappropriate on it. Oh, I'm so no, nice to we do won. That. Yeah, we won. we won. We won. Damn it. <laughs> so this is your your Christmas party this evening yeah, yeah, with yeah. Bootyard Bandits, Bandits, who yeah. I've seen you play before with yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, in Manchester. Yeah. yeah, brilliant. Looking forward to it. early start, early end, I, I think. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's um, uh, an early curfew. Yeah, it's I think it curfew is. about ten o'clock or something. I know. A lot of these venues nowadays, we play in more and more of them and they're, they're sort of finished they have, they have nights I mean they, there's so many venues closing down I suppose they have, they have to turn them into with the, uh, the venues after gigs yeah, get, as mu- get as much in on one that's night it. as they can you know yeah. because it makes money and I understand that it's a bit of a bummer sometimes that it's finishing so early but that's just how it is you want to play these venues they have to stay open that's don't they it. is this your last show of the year this is, this is our last show of the yeah. year yeah 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 this so is, yeah. I know you, you made a big announcement recently of a, a European tour coming up yeah, yeah, next yeah. year so where will you be visiting oh crikey Come on, you could have told me you were going to ask me Yeah, you've got to remember you. all the, the names of the oh, cities no, I, and towns I, 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 all the countries. I don't countries. know, we're playing in... <laughs> Dates. And a lot of them end in Berg, and um, Berlin, Amsterdam. But playing in... Quite a few places. Yeah, Copenhagen. It's long tour, isn't it? Off the top of my head, I don't know. Yeah. I just get picked up in the van and away yeah, we go. Yeah, you don't need to know. Just I, like, I bring the jokes. As long as you're jokes. in the right place at the yeah, right time, that's, that's okay. Um... US. Are you likely to be touring there any time? Oh, crikey, the US. I, I mean, think there's, there's some demand for you to go yeah, out there. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. Yeah, definitely. Plus, yeah, it's it's one of those. Is, is America? Right? It's a big, it's a <laughs> it's a big step. It's, yeah. it's it's a big thing. It's a, yeah, I believe it, it's going to be a lot of money and it's a lot of time away. Yeah. And um, but is this something you've been thinking about? Because I'm sure people yeah, have mentioned it to yeah, you before. I'd love, to, I'd love to do that, but it has to, it has to be right. You'd have to make sure you're going out there and it's going to be a success. A few bands, a few bands we see go go out and spend months over there and. Sp- spend all the come back and they're sort of back to square one a bit really because they've been mm. gone so long and they've run out of money or it didn't just quite take off how they thought I think Europe you know America's a good one but it's only, you've got, you, you need fans and want to play to people I mean there's plenty of people in the world you know Europe's right on our doorstep and how many yeah. all the countries you could want I mean America, I America, you in America well yeah I mean everywhere to be honest I mean, I mean you look at the struts I mean I mean, they yeah. relocate I mean we were playing in Preston what, years and years ago and they were kind of on the same circuit at the time you know and then mm. I, th- I believe they relocated to America and then they just blew up in America before anywhere else really yeah. uh, so that fair play to them but I don't know. Yeah, it'd have to be. The, we'd have to be have the right go over with the right people. Yeah. You know, invited by the right people for the right reasons, and it'd have to make sure it worked. You okay. Know. I don't well, know. Hopefully. What do I know? <laughs> um, new album. I believe you're due to record it. In new yeah, yeah. Year. So January. Do you want to tell us about that? January. Yeah. It's all written. We've got about 15 songs, I think. Wow. Quite a whopper of an album. Yeah. Then. Well, I don't think all of them will be used. We'll probably record them all. It's yeah. always good to. Um, it's always good to have a. a some songs set aside four or five you, you yeah. haven't used you can bring them out in the year or t- put them out for something else or, or whatever you know uh, but yeah but yeah it's uh, I'm looking forward to it yeah we it's, it's playing live's great playing live and uh, and recording they're, they're my favourite things to do Reco- I love recording it's great yeah. it's, it's relaxed and you it's really productive and it's just so good to hear the songs you've been writing for the last few years finally turned into yeah. something, you know, and they're not just a noise in your head. No, you it's know, funny material. They're actually something, and you can actually forget about them then. You don't have to keep worrying how they're going to turn out or, you know. Yeah. You have know. you got a name for the album yet or a potential yeah. release Crikey, you're joking, you're joking date? You? So that, we'll probably do that about a week before it comes out. <laughs> last minute job, that. But that's, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, what are your plans for Christmas? Sleeping, yeah, oh, trying to get yeah. some sleep. I think you probably need it. You've had a busy year. Yeah, yeah, we've got a, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a three-year-old as well. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, that brings me on to um, a, a question I was thinking of. Um, 
I believe new one year. of you are expecting uh, a new baby, Bows, in the new year. Yeah, yeah, Bows, yeah. yeah so yeah. Uh, what I want to know is what is the top piece of parenting advice you would give him? Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't have one. I think it's a bit late for that now. Oh no! We should have listened, shouldn't he? Um, I don't. I don't know. He, he'll find his own feet. It's a great, great. It's, it's his first, isn't it? It's his first. Yeah, yeah. So the best bit, bit of parenting advice I was given, yeah. and I still stand by this. I think it's fantastic. Have your second child first. Have your second child first. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Sounds like something I would say. That. <laughs> well, pretend you said it then. Um, what are your plans for next year after the European oh. tour? You're then going to oh. release your album, yeah, I yeah. assume. Yeah. I'll, that... I'll probably be released yeah. in April, probably. Maybe oh. April, May, maybe. I don't know. Um, just more gigging, probably. So festivals. You, well, I was going to ask yeah. you about festivals. And do, do a headline tour later in the year, I think. Yeah. And yeah. have you got any festivals lined up yet? Yeah, we can't really mention anything about that. Oh, yeah. you can't mention them. So can't mention else. it. Nothing's. No, you tell me, won't you? Uh, well, we've got Call of the Wild headline in that, which would be oh, great. Okay, great. Yeah, um, that's confirmed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've got one or two of the ones that were uh, that are under me at. Mm. Oh, bit. before oh. I forget, sorry, oh. I just remembered. Oh. I brought this what lovely. <laughs> I brought this lovely bottle. I just had this sudden. Spark. Brain we nearly, we nearly spot. About it, I we? nearly forgot. I know it looks like I brought you a present, but I haven't. Oh. I'm afraid. But I did want you to Sorry try a life. bit of this rum. I, yeah. Right. Would you like to have a little bit of this cloven hoof rum? Who else has drunk out of this? Uh, a lot of people. Uh, Joe Bonson. Ruined, two it? of the choir boys. Matt Mitchell. Kim Jennett. Uh, Cass King from Tomorrow's Lost. Yeah. Um, all of Revival Black and all of Florence Black. Florence Black? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are quite a lot. <laughs> I know them lads, they're a sound, great band. So what do you want me to do? Have a swig out. I don't know what you to do. <laughs> Have you had it before? Oh. Yeah, it's alright, it's nice, isn't it? Nice, yeah, yeah, I've had it before. Yeah, yeah, we know the uh, the cloven hoof guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You've you uh, raised the hoof before then. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Terry, our manager, my other half, she manages... Um, Riders Creed. Oh yeah. Who did the uh, the did, pitch did, thing on the uh, Dragon's Den, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Which was great. Yeah, yeah. These are lovely guys. I, I love them. Yeah, they're yeah. great. They, 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 fans of ours, and they come to gigs and stuff. Yeah. Seem quite regular. So oh. yeah. yeah. Right. Tasty well, stuff. That's six 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 stuff it. on the other hand. <laughs> <laughs> Christ Almighty. We're going to move on to some questions from your uh, Facebook fan page. Okay. You've got a lot of fans. There's not a question from a lot of fans. On there, is there? Yes. We're not we'll that. start. We'll start with Mark Walsh. Right. Get him out the way G- give a shout out to Mark. Hi, Mark. No, he doesn't deserve one. Yeah, he does. Yeah, um, oh, that's a surprise. All right. <laughs> Where did the band name come from? I'm not telling you, Mark. I'm not telling you. Next question. That's it. All right. There yeah, you I'm go. Not him. I'll tell I'll you, I'll tell you, Mark. You afterwards. I'm not telling I know you already. I, uh, we worked it out. Okay. From Nicola okay. Ames. Ames. Uh, is that right? Ames. Ames. I think so. Really sorry so if I've pronounced that wrong. Hi, Nicola. Um, if you could go back in time, would you change anything you've done, uh, gigs or albums? Do anything differently? Do anything differently. Oh, yeah. If I could go back in time. Yeah. Time machine. Christ almighty, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'd probably, st- I'd probably start the band sooner, to be honest. Oh, okay. We yeah. started 10 years ago, didn't you? Uh, yeah, nearly 11 yeah. years ago now, I think. Yeah. yeah. I'm 14 years old, so, you know, I'd have probably. How old st- are you? I'd have started <laughs> it a bit sooner. <laughs> you know, but here we are, yeah. Okay. 25. Now, this question. No. You're 25? Yeah, we'll go with 25. We'll go with that. This question from Jeremy Wills from New Wave of Plastic Rock. Oh, yeah, Jeremy, yeah, not Jeremy. Hi, Jeremy. First of all, yeah, he says, like thank that. you for all the support you've given to New Wave Classic oh, no, Rock. Okay. Mm. And he says, did you enjoy your first ever Cornish gig at Cornwall Rock? Oh, it was, it was brilliant. Brilliant, yeah. yeah, it was great. Long way. Yeah. It was a long way, but it was worth it. Yeah, it was great. They were rocking. Yeah, it was, it was good, good. As the name suggests. As the name suggests, yeah. of course. It does what it says on the team. It does. Yeah, it was a great, week, a great weekend. Yeah, they, they were having it, yeah. They got them, uh, they were rocking. Yeah, okay. Rocking. Graham Cutress. Hi, Graham. Hi, Graham. Thanks for your question. It is. I've heard it yet. You You're haven't. Rubbish. It's not rubbish, because I don't include rubbish, rubbish questions. And your fans wouldn't ask anything that no. was rubbish. Um, he knows I like you. <laughs> are there any venues you've played in the past few years that you wouldn't wish to return to because of cockwomble, staff or crowds? That was my word of the day, cockwomble. Cock-womble. Yeah, I'd never used it before. So I've got to, got to, I I'm finally in a used it in a sentence. Like venues off, am I? Well, you are. I'm not really. <laughs> not, well, not if you want to go back to them. But, um... I don't know. You're any getting, bad you're crowds getting, anywhere? You're getting everywhere. 
Yeah, you know, back in the early, back in the early days, when we were, uh, before any of these sort yeah. of cool venues and cool events, we were playing uh, a lot of cover sets and we used to play in uh, work some working men clubs and some couple of uh, pub in Morecambe who were main nameless, so it was uh, quite hostile to rock bands, you know. Oh. But, you know, you, you, that's how you become good and, and you become, if you can play to those people, you can play to anybody, you know. You yeah. Know, you know, it's all right playing on a big, people say what you like on a big stage, I think, well, uh, be easy on a big stage. I'm gonna play in the corner of a pub where nobody wants to listen to what you're playing. That's that's tough. Yeah. You know. But you can do that. You can do play to anybody, can't you? Yeah. That's I suppose that's true. Right. You hold that. Okay. Am I Just sing into it. Hello. My old man's a dustman. He wears a dustman's hat. Right. Next question. This one's from Steve Dossett. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. How would you best describe the feel of the new album? A plastic. About this big. <laughs> uh, uh, I've had that joke for ages. Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's 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 I'd say it's the same the same as the other albums really. Where there's, there's a variety of styles on there. Like we just seem to write different songs all the time. You know, yeah. it's, not, it's not just it's not pigeonholed. I'd say it's definitely. Uh, well, we're going to record it somewhere different, so hopefully the sound will be be different. It'll be different. We'll, different. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Wait. Different is the answer to that question. Okay. Good. You're, you're I hope you're happy with that, Steve. Steve. Okay, Positive. Patrick Daggy. Dwignan. I'm it? so sorry, I'm Patrick going to call you Daggy. So it's a question Dwignan. from Daggy. Dwignan. Du- Dwignan. Sorry, Daggy. Okay, are there any plans for another Master Wagons weekend in Blackpool next year? Um, I don't know, to be honest. I don't think there's anything yet, but the Waterloo's a great venue. Yeah, and, uh, I've never been there, actually. Have you not? No, oh, you've invited you some great stuff stuff I've never been Yeah, it's a great venue. Yeah. It really is banging. you got some great stuff. We had, um, what are they called, on recently, with the treatment. Um, American band. American Pop band. Cherry. Ah, right. Yeah, they were great. Yes. Yeah. yeah, they've been here as well. Manchester. Yeah. Uh, I hope everyone can hear us still. Next right. question. This is from Deggy from Gorilla Riot. Daggy and Deggy. You're yeah, I know. Right? Funny, I put them next to each other as right, well. Yeah, That's on. just the way it worked out. Would you rather go for a curry with Bono or camping with Sting? Can I go abseiling with the edge? <laughs> yes, you can. I'll do that then. Right, that's the answer to that question. <laughs> well, he's been clever, didn't he, Daggy? He did. He nice. always does. He always has his random does he? strange Some questions. questions. Like it. It's better than where did the fucking band name come from? Yeah, anyway, okay. Mark. mark Thompson, would you... Hi, Mark. Would you rather fight off a hundred duck-sized horses? Oh, not this question again. Right. Or one horse-sized duck. Well, You've heard this it, one it'd before? It'd be a hundred duck-sized horses, That's what it? I thought. Just fucking go like that. That's what I thought. Well, at least you could run away quickly. <laughs> I think. And yeah, fast that's, enough. A, that's, that's easy. That, that was my, yeah, instinctively I know that. Ah! Right, okay, and this is the last question. Oh. It's probably just as well because we're being drowned out. Yeah. Uh, from Joe Bowden. And this Joe is Bowden. to you. So I've got oh, the right band filled. member here. <laughs> have you, uh, can you give any headbanging, t- headbanging tips yeah. you have? Oh, ever? Yeah. Any headbanging related injuries? Yeah, headbanging, headbanging related tips. injuries. Um, just go for it. Go for just it. Just go for Sounds it, yeah. Like a good tip. I once, uh, we were once playing a show and I was headbanging with uh, our old guitar player, Carl, and that, I was headbanging like that, my hair came over my head, it came right over my head and it landed on the headstock of his guitar and it, it just gripped around his uh, headstock and, I, and my hair got tangled in it. We had to stop the song mid-song. Everybody was cheering and laughing and right. <laughs> I need to try and pull my hair out. Yeah, I hear lots of stories about people's hair getting tangled yeah, yeah, up, it does, yeah. various things you know, on stage. It's a rock show, isn't it? Go, go for it, you don't you? It's what you want. Go mad. Anyway, looking forward to seeing you this evening at this Christmas party. We got through it. We got through it just, before, just a nick of time, I think. Thanks right. for watching. Until next time. Rock and roll.